Legendary Eldora Speedway will host NASCAR's Camping World Truck Series race on Wednesday night. In an interview with two sports track owner Tony Stewart discussed switching gears from the Prelude charity event to an official NASCAR race. As much fun as we've had with the Prelude, it, most people didn't see how much and how long uh, of a preparation time it was to put that event on. And this year, having the the uh, Truck Series event there, uh, you know, that's that's a huge event for us. So. Uh, we really needed to make sure that we were doing everything that we needed to do to ensure that the Truck Series event uh, goes off hopefully as good as it can be. And um, so, you know, that's why we didn't have time to run the Prelude this year. But, uh, you know, that's something to have NASCAR back, uh, a touring division to be back on the dirt after 40 years. That is unbelievable. So, um, you know, that's something we're pretty excited about. Since buying the track in 2004, Tony Stewart has continued the great traditions started by Earl Baltus in 1954. And indeed, Eldora continues to be the hotspot for the biggest racing events on dirt. Well, we love it. And we, you know, Earl Baltus and his wife Bernice, I mean, they, they set a high standard uh, before we bought it as far as how to promote. And uh, they always had a, a huge marquee events, uh, the historic big one, the, the Mopar Million. Uh, there were a lot of events there that, uh, you know, have, have really shaped promoting dirt tracks. and. Uh, you know, for us to come in there and to be able to do this, this is something that Earl's pretty proud of, the fact that we've got a NASCAR race there. So, uh, you know, it's all about doing things big at Eldora, and uh, Roger Slack and our staff there have just um, done so many neat things this year and, and changed so many things to dress it up. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it just keeps getting bigger and better every year at Eldora. And it all happens Wednesday night. Thank you, Hutch.